climate change continues to be a threat in the sub-Saharan region and Swaziland is no exception. The climate change adaptation project implemented by the Department of Water Affairs funded by the Jeff and UNDP under the Special Climate Change Fund. We provided funds for the implementation of the pilot projects, part of which was the construction of sand dams at the Matanjani community. This forms part of the second outcome of the project and the first ever sand dam to be built in Swaziland was at Matanjani. The sand dam is a concrete embankment that is built across a seasonal river uh, with an aim of harvesting rainwater. The work the dam works is such that it harvests uh, runoff uh, that comes with heavy rainfall in rivers that are ephemeral or seasonal that runs during the rainy season and during the dry season they no longer flow. The aim of this technology is to ensure that the sand that is due to erosion upstream is harvested by this wall which then contains about um, 30 to 40 percent in its volume of the, of the sand is water. Then there are infiltration galleries, pipes inserted at the bottom of the sand, at the bottom of the dam during construction, which are perforated to make sure that water is then abstracted from the sand for human use. This is a technology that has been widely used in other countries like Kenya, Mozambique, uh, where Swaziland has been privileged enough to go through the South-South Cooperation, Triangular Cooperation, uh, to learn from the Kenyan people on how they survive under this adverse impacts of climate change. It is with that effect that the project uh, has now started constructing such dams and piloting them in Swaziland to see if Swaziland can utilize this kind of technology in addressing climate change challenges. Let's go to the community of Matanjani to hear what they have to say. Kepana babe miye ni lel damle nu ni bit. Bunye buna manja. Kepinza wye nu lo mango yi nil kamalang. Matanjani. Gushokti nje Matanjani babe miye. Matanjani ushowe uti ngilo mfula lo. Umlando uti guna bantu laba fakwa putala matambo lo mfula wa subizo ngu matanjeni. Kwa lwe? Awusi kazele babe mie. Nifiga njani egu ube ni nale sakiwa na lo msebendi lo mslega ngaga. Ni hambeti ngonti ni ni ketege njani. Usi kazele njega bandi kuti nize nifiga la niko na kona na mla nifiga njani babe. Usi zolo ahul mendi na yutangano. Eee... As the Bambi Senna Hulmendi, Dobos and Gossi, Hulmendi, Wabonas, Timo, Novesuela, Novo Miss, I went away again, and I love Miss Wakatatin, the Teller of Caesar, Sawa, Wadetani, Dobon, and Nabaza was a Kela, Nabakamba, the Bokenya. Sasa zato la de 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 de
hulumende wa Kenlel Dam na le tlobo lo khulumangato. Hulumende o se 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 nge material ke wa khale le dam eh wa pende futhu wa se se za ngoke kuthi asilethelela la 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 bochwephesha labano lwazi lo lo banze ke ba sakhele le dam eh impela Lugunye le singafuna kuguva kangane babekuwe kwekwe kuti ingabe njengetakhata la matsanjeni sandla sinle nesifakile kulo msebenti kuze kuthi ube imphumelelo Isandla esifakile la kuze bona msebenzi lona ube imphumelelo umango wonke usukumile wabuthamathe weza futhi noma sokwakhiwa wafaka manje yini lokunye nje babe ungachaza chaza ukuthi nibuthe matshe bobani lala bakhile kwakhele tihlobo tenkosi noma kwakhe bobani kwakhe idobo zenkosi la kwaphinde hulumende kwaletha bochwephesha bakheke hulumende labachamuka ngakuye bazosebekelela nabo khona sandla sikhona sikhona umsebeni nje babe ububa la umkhulu kangaka Li mbela li kule li tam li abona gala na ngilbuga njenge metlo a mitrishe li enzula ema miten lang 22. Unga staze la gabandi babi kuti wonge lo msebe nlonga ga wendi wengi notwa. Kute le mwenye mmango lebe nbambisane na yewa kende li tam. Ha, nguze. Sibambisane nje si mpaka kile mbili. Utla ngoti doa mwenye mpaka atwa selegelega. Sakona kitanga na sana. Njenga lo kukazi le babe mien, kukona inti njego nine le nti kipile gube na keskwa mase kwa nda lo msebendi lo nano guti sega hambile hulumende utubege lo msebendi ube impumelelo. Mbele skwa mase sikona, le se sakile, se la utubega futi, ikonikushine noma umi bulu nga bububu, kubega nagalo ugu se la usale se kubase skwa. Kumbungutu wa mbabe lo mwenye kungaba guti, sana so le sakio. Sitan sita, pungu piti ngoni la sitan sita kona nini? Hii sisi sisi zaka kule le saki wa ba, sisi sisi zaka kule ingome ni kunati sisi ingomo, kudime ni futi sisi zaka kule video le saki wa, sisi zaka sisi zaka abantu la ba nenga kulo. Banga kibanvu laba gulomango wa sema tanjeni Laba fage sandla na laba tauzuza gulomsebendi Laba fage sandla bantu Chiba Bang 1000 Mbona bantu laba tauzuza Ungatwa isu uti njele minye mango Lesa tawa kaima tamla fana na lawa Hei ngati haba kutali mpela, haba faka manda, haba sebenze kakulu na kanzi au lula lo msebenze. Kuna banda bae misela hawa, enfuti kufuna bae nesikwa masabo, basu 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 nesikwa masabo. Siya bonga babi kakulu. I am still at Matanjeni where the first ever sent them in Swaziland has been constructed. I'm now with a young woman who is also actively participated in the construction Can of Can you please tell us, what's your name? Petile Thank Shabam. Petile. Uh, where do you come from, Petile? I'm from Matanjan area. You are from the Matanjan area. I've been participating working around this work. Can you please tell us, how long has it taken this community to construct this huge structure? And when did you start it? So you did all this in about uh, uh, 12 days. Oh, that's great. Can you tell us what was the role of the community in the construction of this dam? The community is very committed when it comes to doing the work. Uh, and then they also contributed with money. And this money is handled in Malangeni, which is going to help us in case there is any damages in the dam so that we can be able to repair those damages. I can see you are still young, Petzile. What motivated you to participate in this work? Because I'm respecting, my parents send me to work here. Mm -hmm. So do you see that this will help you in the future? Yes, of course it will help us in the future. Okay. As a young person, what challenges have, have you, you seen in the construction of the structure? 
People at first they committed themselves, but as time goes on, they started to absent themselves. Uh huh. And how, how did you deal with that? Ah, we, we continued working because there was no way we can. Yet, uh, the one who absented himself or herself was to pay a fine of 20 mlang. Uh huh. Of which uh, we not yet to ensure that all that people pay that amount of money. Okay. What advice can you give to other communities that are uh, still to construct such dams? I think they must put more energy and they must commit themselves because this thing is very much helpful and it's going to be very much important. As we know, this place, there's no water. For, mm. ev for people, for livestock, for everything. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the water from this river, it will help you to do what? Can you tell us in details what you're going to use this water for? We're going to have clean water for ourselves. Mm. That's how the interviews continued uh, with the community of Matsanjene. Indeed, this dam will transform the people's life in that particular area. We are yet to receive rains and we are yet to see what will be the impact thereafter. Thank you.